what's up? It's your boy Shine. Watch how I turn my beautiful dog Cookie into this marvelous rug. Follow the steps and you'll find out. First, what you got to do is download the Vector Q app. Put your image up there. Tweak the settings. This is three shades. And once you tweak the settings how you want it, then you can go right ahead and move on to the next step, which is dragging it to your Photoshop. I have Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, there's a bunch of free software out there. Um, and reverse your image, okay? After you reverse the image, load the image into your computer. Get your projector. I have the mini projector. Project your image onto the, the frame and you trace the image. Now, this don't have to be an image of a dog. You can trace any image that you like, whatever. But just trace that image and make sure you got the colors down packed, okay? Label the colors. All right, now make sure your your yarn is pulling from the center. Some yarns that I got this from Walmart. Usually, I make sure I find the ones that's pulling from the center. Um, this one wasn't, so it was a little bit of a headache, but I still made it work though. And then you just get to tufting, man. Everything is going to be included in the description box below. Or you guys can go to www.tufting101.com for everything that you need. I got a free course on there as well. And the next thing what you do is just use your your um, lint remover. That's also available once you access www.tufting101.com. The link is going to be in the description box below. Um, the tool that I'm using just to get that excess yarn off the rug. And this turned out perfect, a little better than what I thought. So I'm going to continue to do some more images as well and continue to provide you guys with free value. All right. And just do that in each and every direction. Go up, go sideways, go down. Make sure you get every direction. And I also shaved it on the frame. I have a video that describes how to shave it on the frame as well. All right, and the next thing that you do while it's still on the frame, make sure you guys are putting the carpet adhesive on the back. You know, this is my method. You can do whatever the heck you want to do, but I found that it makes the rug back and get a lot cleaner. Um, so just put the, the Henry 663, whatever adhesive you got. It don't have to be Henry. Put that adhesive on the back and also put your felt or your backing piece on the back and let that dry together. It's very simple. Let it all dry together. You save a whole bunch of uh, hustle and bustle. And this is the final result. Came out pretty good. Make sure you hit the like button. Comment what you want to see next. Subscribe to the channel. Also subscribe to Tufting101.com. Everything that I use is going to be in the description box below as well as Tufting101.com. Grab your free course. Thank you so much, guys, for your support throughout the years. Look how clean the back is. Everything is perfect. It's your boy, Shadow. Peace.